This is the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, we are going to continue on with what's new for 8080 on the ICX series, and uh, today should be a short one. It's an enhancement to tab-based autocomplete. So, you know, on the usual command line, I'm sure most of you know how tab works. Tab will complete the command as long as it's unique up till that point. So, um, if I just hit question mark here, find something. Um, say uh, you got clear and clock which are similar so if I type CL uh, E it'll complete that command right um, so as long as it's unique from that point forward it's going to complete the command for you um, so if you have longer commands like that ARP internal priority command for example um, you know it's it's a fair amount of typing to type that out so if I can just type ARP dash I and then uh, continue on then it will you know it'll complete that command to, uh, after I tab it right so what the new enhancement does is it allows you if you've got multiple commands that look the same it will complete the command up until the point where it's unique so um, let's just find something here where there's multiple that are very similar uh, GVRP is similar uh, let's do rate limit. So we've got rate limit ARP and rate limit log, right? So um, normally you would have to type all the way out rate dash limit dash A or rate dash limit dash L in order for it to, you know, complete that autocomplete with tab, right? So now if I just type out, say, rate and hit tab, it'll complete the command all the way up to the point where it's no longer unique, right? So rate limit ARP, rate limit log, so it's completed all the way up to the point where it's not unique, and then I could just type, you know, A and hit tab, and it'll complete the command from that point. So uh, it is a, a real time saver when you've got multiple commands. Some of the commands, you know, are, um, are, are quite a bit of typing to get out to the point where it becomes unique, so this saves you a lot. Um, so, you know, just a quick command, a little bit of help on the command line and something that you can use, you know, every day. All right. So uh, that's it. Tune in next time and take care.